Crown prosecutors are seeking a maximum sentence for a Calgary senior found guilty of conning investors out of millions of dollars. Arnold Breitkreutz was charged in 2018 with fraud and theft over $5,000. But as Mark Villani reports, the Ponzi scheme goes far beyond that, and it devastated those who thought their money was safe. Sarah Drabinsky doesn't wish to show her face on camera. The shame of losing more than $665,000 is just too much to bear. My entire life savings was, was basically lost in this supposed legitimate company. Drabinsky, along with hundreds of others, were the victims of a Ponzi scheme organized by Arnold Breitkrauts. The 74-year-old appeared in court Wednesday to hear victim impact statements from those who invested in his company called Base Finance Limited. A judge ruled he deceived investors of $27 million between 2014 and 2015. He's found guilty of making clients believe they were putting money into safe investments secured by first mortgages, but then diverted the cash to riskier deals that failed. You know, just a financial ruin. There's no other word for it. I, you know, it's just, it's heartbreaking. The Alberta Securities Commission now puts this as one of the worst scams in the province's history. The findings against Bright Crowds place his misconduct amongst the most egregious known to the capital market. The fraud he orchestrated occurred over many years, during which time he raised more than $137 million and left hundreds of investors with little or no recovery. It causes shame and guilt to the victims who are involved, and it can very often lead to, to depression. Uh, sadly, we see this on a daily basis in the work that we do. Breitkraut's addressed his victims in court. He says, I can feel your loss, and for that, I am unbelievably sorry. That was not my intention. When I accepted your money, I put your money to the same place I put my own. Nevertheless, I feel for you deeply as much as I can, and I'm sorry. But Drabinsky wasn't buying that apology. Even during the court procedures, there's zero remorse from him. Didn't affect him at all. The only thing he's sorry about is that he got caught. Breitkrauts is scheduled to be sentenced on Friday. The Crown is arguing for 10 to 12 years, while the defense is asking for anywhere from 5 to 8 years. Mark Villani, CTV News, Calgary.